There have been some pretty incredible rocket engines built and designed by students on their race to the Kármán line. You can find out more about this race in a video that we did previously which describes the state of the race to the Kármán line in the student amateur community. In the meantime, let's delve into the top 7 most powerful engines developed by students. We start first with the Heros rocket engine. This engine powered the Heros rocket to an altitude of 31 kilometers, which is still the altitude record for student rocketry in Europe today. The Heros rocket engine was developed by students from the University of Stuttgart under the Stern program. This is a program that is set up to help develop rocketry technology in the student community within Europe. The Heros rocket engine is a hybrid rocket engine which means that it utilizes a liquid oxidizer and a solid propellant. In this case, the oxidizer being nitrous oxide and the solid propellant being paraffin wax. This allowed them to get some pretty incredible specific impulses and ultimately achieve the altitude record of 31 kilometers. Their rocket had a power of 10 kilonewtons. To put that into perspective, that would be enough power to make a car fly. Moving forward to the engine that powered the Stratos 2 rocket we have the DHX-200 Aurora. This rocket engine was completely developed by students in the DARE group, a group specifically composed of engineers from the University of Delft. It also utilized a hybrid design with a nitrous oxide oxidizer and a paraffin wax sorbitol aluminum fuel. This engine was ultimately able to reach a force of 11 kilonewtons, just surpassing the thrust level of the Heroes rocket. Jumping across the Atlantic to Embry-Riddle University, we have the Icarus rocket, which was built by the Embry-Riddle Future Space Explorers Group. This rocket utilized solid propellant, which means that it had a solid oxidizer and a solid fuel. Usually this means that the rocket is simpler at the expense of having slightly less efficiency. Despite this, the Embry-Riddle Future Space Explorers team was able to design the Icarus to provide 15.8 kilonewtons of thrust. This powered them all the way to 61 kilometers, which at the time of launch in 2007 was the highest altitude that any student group had ever achieved. Furthermore, at the date of launch, the Icarus rocket also stood as the most powerful rocket developed by students. Up next is a quirkily named engine, the Tangerine Space Machine, developed by students from MASA, the Michigan Aeronautical Science Association. This rocket is a bit unique amongst the rockets in this list because it is actually a liquid engine. This means that it has both a liquid oxidizer and a liquid fuel. These rockets tend to be very difficult to both design and build, which makes them less popular in the student amateur community. Nonetheless, the Tangerine Space Machine was able to manage a thrust level of 18.1 kilonewtons making it one of the most powerful rockets designed by students. However, there's a slight asterisk with this rocket as it has not actually flown to date. However, MASA does plan to utilize the Tangerine Space Machine engine to power their vehicle all the way to the Kármán line. This launch is planned for late 2021. Let's see if they can make it. Another American-built student rocket was the one that powered the Traveler 4 all the way to the Kármán line back in 2019. This rocket still holds the world student amateur rocketry record at 103 kilometers. The rocket that powered this effort was a solid rocket, capable of producing 20 kilonewtons of thrust. At this thrust level, it would be possible to make a small minivan fly into the air. Jumping back to the Delft Aerospace Rocket Engineers, we have the engine that powered their most recent launch, the Stratos 3, back in 2018. This rocket, the DHX-400 Nimbus, was capable of producing 25 kilonewtons of thrust. Similar to the DHX-200 Aurora, this rocket utilized a liquid oxidizer in nitrous oxide and a solid fuel in a paraffin sorbitol aluminum mixture. To date, this remains the most powerful rocket ever flown by a student group. However, it should be noted that this rocket did not actually reach its planned destination of the Kármán line. It experienced a failure only 20 seconds into flight, and the rocket broke up. Finally, we come to my home country of Canada with a group called Space Concordia. 
They come from Concordia University in Montreal and they have developed a truly incredible rocket. This rocket, named Star Sailor, is a liquid rocket and to date remains as the most powerful rocket ever fired by a student group. It was able to produce a whopping 37 kilonewtons of thrust in early 2021 when it was first tested. To put that into perspective, that would be enough force to lift a Hummer into the air. Furthermore, a rocket of that size is easily able to compete with modern day commercial rockets. Space Concordia hopes to use the Star Sailor engine in order to power their dreams of going to the Kármán line. Many of these rockets on this list were developed in just the past five years. The world of student amateur rocketry is really exciting as many groups gear up to push for the Kármán line. Be sure to stay tuned to the action by subscribing and following these incredible groups that are pushing the bounds of aerospace technology. And remember to keep expanding your horizons.